Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. All week long, we've been catching up with our favorite TV judges during our Sisters of the Court week. Well, our next guest may not be presiding over a court on TV, but they are real life examples of women doing their thing in the judicial system. Known as the Sisters Who Rule. Please welcome <laughs> Judge Shamika Reinhardt, Judge Camille Banks Prince, Judge Teresa Raquel Robinson Freeman, <laughs> and Judge Keisha Wright Hill. Hello, ladies. Hey. Hey. Wow, this is, I just yes. love this. Yes. Look at all of this magic. Yes. yes. Do you feel the magic? Yes. 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 Black girl magic. The black girl magic. And yes. the sisters who rule. So please run down your titles because I just want to sit back and hear it. And so do the so do the audience. Well, good morning. The audience. Yes. I am a district court judge in Durham County, North Carolina. Yes. And your name? Shamika Reinhardt. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. And Camille. I'm Camille Banks Prince, a district court judge in Forsyth County, North Carolina. Love it. Love it. Love it. Miss Teresa. Yes. I'm sorry, Judge. It's it's just <laughs> fine. We're off the clock. Okay. <laughs> and good morning. I am Teresa Raquel Robinson Freeman. Yes. yes, I kept all of my names. Yes, you did. Uh, and I am a district court judge in Judicial District Six, North Carolina. Nice. Good morning, and I'm Keisha Wright Hill. I've had the pr the privilege of sitting in two courts, magistrate court and juvenile court in yes, Clayton County. Absolutely, Georgia. absolutely. Well, ladies, you walked into law school not knowing each other, and then you walked out sisters who ruled. Tell us about this bond and how it was created. North Carolina Central University, right? Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. 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 yes, so first I want to just give God the glory for yes. this because without his yes. providence, yes. his sovereignty and his divine yes. grace, there would be no golden girl theme friendship nor sisters who rule. Yes. But this all started when I was a child watching the golden girls on TV in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea of these girls living together, being friends, Fast forward, 1998, I met these girls in the dorm. We're yes. all law students, and we're spending time together. I start realizing they had the same quirks as the Golden Girls characters. Uh -huh. One of us was thinking we were fine as wine. <laughs> the other one, she was practical and sensible. The other one was loyal, kind to a fault, uh -huh. and then one of us was quick and witted. So <laughs> where you have here is Rose, mm -hmm. Dorothy, <laughs> Blanche and Sophia. Yes. So we're all students. You know law school is very difficult. Mm -hmm. But what I came to find is that us spending time together, we just formed a bond. We were able to support each other in ways that our families mm -hmm. could not. Right. They didn't understand the challenges of law school. Mm -hmm. And so to think that we started in school and we've ended up on the bench together serving yes. in this way on, is just something that yes. we could never Absolutely. have even right. imagined. Absolutely. You speak mm -hmm. of support. I know, Shamika, you had a hard time passing the bar. How did these ladies help you? Was it like flashcards at night? Like, sis, we gotta get this. Well, let me say this. First of all, um, I missed the bar. Mm -hmm. I missed passing by one point. And what I tell people is that I may have failed the test, but I gained the testimony. Mm -hmm. yes. And so by that, what my testimony is, when there is a will, there is a way. Yeah, and so I kept pressing forward. You know, when you don't pass the bar, it's very disappointing and you feel embarrassed. I called my girls. They was like, you know what, Shamika, you're not stupid. Yeah. You just graduated and passed, you know, and went through three years of law school. So guess what? You get back up, mm -hmm. dust your face off. We're gonna let you cry, have a little pity party, but we're not gonna dance in your pity party right. for too long. Wow. And so I'm telling you, I got back in the ring and I passed on the second time. Come on now, yeah. guess what? Yeah. What? The rest uh -huh. is history. history. <laughs> yes, yes. And they helped me, Absolutely. so I love them. You know, speaking of you know that support system, that, that has been the theme of this mm -hmm. conversation. I know, Keisha, mm -hmm. while you were in law school, your father passed away. Mm -hmm. How were you able to maintain your focus and grieve at the same time, and how did your sisters help you? You know, it's difficult enough trying to attend law school, but to lose my father six weeks into the first year mm -hmm. was devastating, mm -hmm. and so, First, I have to give honor to my God because my faith is what gave me the strength, mm -hmm. my family as far as support, and these ladies, yes. Teresa, mm -hmm. Camille, and Shamika. They helped me while I took a leave of absence. They checked on me, made sure I was okay, and then when I came back the next year, they were there right there supporting yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. So, That's a beautiful good. thing. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing. Uh, Teresa, how are you able to maintain who you are as a woman in your decision making on the bench. So, yes, as you can see, we are proud African American <laughs> women and, right? and young women. Right. Yes. But our story and our service on the bench really transcends race. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's about, and it's equally important to have judges who have diversity of thought yes. and diversity yes, of experience true. that they bring to the bench in the decision making that they do. And so, while I can't give ex 
specific examples because our judicial code of conduct does not allow that, I can just tell you that in our daily service, we make sure that we are asking why. Mm -hmm. We know that people are in front of us for committing crimes and for other reasons, but when you ask why, yes. you're able to really fashion a judgment that not, not only fits the crime, mm -hmm. but also fits the individual citizen who is standing before you. That's true. And that's, that's so true. important. Yes. And as we uh, close things out, you know, it's important for each of us to see mm -hmm. women of color doing what you do. What's your overall message for young black boys and girls to see you when possibly they may walk into the courtroom or possibly they may see you just being who you are? What's mm -hmm. the one thing you want to take away? Camille, could you answer that for us? Well, for me, it's by God's <laughs> grace that I am what I am. And so as long as you are a hardworking individual, and for me, my faith is what's been carrying me any dream that you set your mind to, the opportunity is there. Yes, The absolutely. opportunity is there. Absolutely. Well, let me tell you, our audience, somebody is watching, some young girl mm -hmm. is watching that thought she couldn't, mm -hmm. but after right. seeing you ladies, she knows she can. Oh, yes. Thank yes. you so much for yes. being Thank beautiful you. and blessed and the epitome of black girl magic. Right. Can we give it up for the sisters who ruled? Judges Shamika Reinhardt, Camille Banks Prince, Teresa Raquel Robinson Freeman, and Keisha Wright. Again, thank you so much for sharing your story you. and rounding out our Judge Week. For more information on these amazing women, please go to www.sisterswhorule.com. We'll be right back. Thank hey. you. <laughs>